Sorry about that. Two-parter. I hit a wrong button, so it took me out of it. Um, so I end up splitting. I'll give, like, I worked toffee. I worked toffee in the obedience, and right towards the end, when we were ready to get suited up for bite work, I took off, got him suited up. <clears throat> and then I worked toffee only so long in that class and didn't keep doing more and more bite work because I, I ended on a high point, right? I got what I wanted to out of it, and then I take off, and I grabbed Joker, and then I went to the advanced side and gave him some bites. Then I went and got buddy and and wanted to burn off some energy buddy and joker aren't getting worked much lately because i've been concentrating on client dogs and um i've got this move coming up where i want to be moving locations so my mind has been torn on everything i've got going on so <clears throat> i uh ended up taking buddy out as well because buddy needs to burn off some energy he's not getting worked they're basically kind of getting robbed of attention and getting uh a lot more kennel time and that's not good you know you get a dog that knows how to work and his, his drive levels are all at a certain point and they're working like a top if if you don't use it you lose it you know what i mean if you don't work the dog you're going to start to be, see a behavior change and their, their behavior is going to go down and their accuracy is going to go down and if, you know, very true with um this sort of thing dog training is um an expendable thing that's why when people ask me how long it take you, you never stop training your dogs how long it take you to train that dog you never stop working your dog. There's always something I'm working on. So if you don't work the dog, they're going to get rusty and they're going to lose those behaviors that you've worked real hard to get. So you got to get back into it and get them back up to, to speed again. And it takes work to get them their head in the right spot. Kind of like starting over in a way. They know it. They never forget. But you got to get back at it, you know. So, all right. I'll let you guys go. I hope you had a good good new year's and uh you were safe and you're not feeling too bad today on the day after drinking so much last night for a lot of you <laughs> i went to sleep early i <laughs> got woken up at 12 o'clock with all the boom booms <laughs> i had to go through that try to keep the dogs settled down a little bit they get all wound up but it went pretty well all things considered i think but who knows we've got in our area they don't just do fireworks they do the big old ba boom you know they got you know, gunpowder or whatever they've got for their explosions. But they don't really worry about all the fancy uh, fireworks. They get into the boom booms. All right, I'll let you guys go. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, signing off.